intelligent assistance. I turn this around and say it's not really AI, it's IA, right? Uh, in fact, I think that's a much more appropriate term. Intelligent assistance, intelligent aug augmentation, intelligence amplification. Using what we do, but make it quicker, faster. The FT says we're going to have roughly $8 billion worth of revenues and that not very much. I think it's going to be a whole lot more than that uh, in just a short time. But Schwab already has a portfolio called the Intelligent Portfolio. It's essentially a robotic advisor. Of course, we'll talk about that this, this afternoon, this morning with IBM, but many of those things are now becoming possible because you have a real-time data feed of 100 million different sources. Every single bank that's in the lending business is investing in intelligent portfolios. Because the idea being, if you have simple investments, you can probably do it with a robot. And uh, Fry and Osborne, who did a great study you should download from Oxford University, saying that roughly 40 to 50 percent of jobs will go away. They're saying 58 percent of financial advisors will be replaced by robots and AI. I've tried some of those systems, and it's pretty mind-boggling what they can do. They're not human in the sense of saying that I don't want to invest, say, in defense or something, so they wouldn't care, right? They just go for the numbers, right? They don't go for sentiments. Right? But they can do simple stuff, and they're going to get exponentially better.